Hey everyone, take with a ribbon reroll game. Melee carries are back on the menu. I'm sure you've all seen some Yone players in your games. But don't forget about Viego, who is a very nice carry, and Zed, who is an excellent duo carry. And then you have both versions of Akali running around. While Riven is still a far cry from a broken state in PvE, she can still put out some DPS when 3 starred. These are some terrible augments. Am I really about to take Harm Assist on 2 1? The reason I bought Headlighter Jinx earlier is because I have 80 items and a Taric pair. It's really nice to have an upgraded frontline and backline unit. This fight's an easy win. What an interesting shop. I mean, if there ever was a Riven spot, it's probably this. I have Garen for 8-bit, half a Quicksilver, and Harmacist is best on melee units. Sad thing is, I had a good chance to win this fight if I kept the Jinx. I'm not going to win many fights with this board. Let's make 10. I think there's a chance that I shrink with Jinx, but it's not for sure because Headliner Quirky is really strong. No glove here sucks. I don't think I'd buy this Yasuo, even if it was Edgelord. I was never being this guy even with Jinx. I'm now more okay with the ribbon line. I guess I'm going to play 3 out of 4 to make 30 gold. Got my 4 lost streak. The reason I don't buy Blitz is that there's a chance I don't get enough gold to make 40. Two rods is not what I wanted to see. Red buff is really good, but I have to make Gunblade here to use up a rod. Weird. I'm pretty sure Crowd Diver is an uncraftable emblem. Idealism would be good if I didn't have 3 item ribbon. Looking at my health total, last dance is going to get pretty good value. Headliner Garen's great this early, because the 400 HP goes a long way. Do we actually win a fight? Normally, no one plays Riven, but I want to make sure. This is Yone player, but typically they don't reroll her. Unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of team planner this game, because I really didn't know what I was doing.
That's a Z with belt for even shroud. So looking at the planner now, if I get 8-bit ribbon, it's definitely Caitlyn over Zed. But the bigger question is, is 5 Edgelord worth it if I have to play a Yasuo? I'm not planning for a level 9 board, I'm just marking down all the units that I might need. If I didn't have last stand, I probably would have leveled on 3-5 and rolled for headliner ribbon. This looks like a bad loss. Senna is so strong. Give me Crown Guard and a bow for another red buff. I'm going to roll a little deep here because I need to start playing a real board. Getting a headliner every shot makes rolling a little bit slower because I keep thinking I have an upgrade. It sucks having to sell a ribbon, but I can't afford to hold her on my bench. I had no idea that heavy hitters might be Yone's best augment, so I see no reason why it wouldn't also be good on Ribbon. Long distance pass is always going to be a good on a real comp. I have a feeling that my team's going to get stunned a bunch this fight. I can't keep rolling. I need to econ for a big roll down soon. I appreciate that they're trying to cook, but crowd ever doesn't do anything unless it's four plus. That's Viego T with good items. Just keep slow rolling because I'm not close yet. I'm going to arm mark some units so I don't get confused. Headliner Caitlyn is so strong. When I see those 5 ribbons, I probably should have considered pivoting and going 8 for a new headliner, but I keep my head down and keep rolling. I feel like this TF comp is only good if you hit TF2, Blitz 2, and a good 5 cost on 4-2. I need a third Morda item and some Viego items. Thank god they sold the Rivens. I get some good items here. I like BT Times for Viego, but I have no idea why I made Adaptive Helm over a Steadfast Heart on Mord. Looks like they're trying to play TF and they missed.
I want to roll a 30 here, because I feel like rolling for Riven 3 when I'm 1 HP is a bad idea. Here I waste time when I should be rolling. There's no point in rolling so much with so little time left. Yeah, what do you think was going to happen? Of course you're going to run out of time, and now you just have Riven 3 on your bench like an idiot. Am I 3 streaking? Hello there. Maybe I just go for more 3 now. I don't think there are that many boards. Just 3. Where is this guy's front line? Red buff is great for Viego. I'm just AFKing my positioning because it's way too hard to swap this comp with LDP. I think their comp just counters mine. So much CC and decent single target. Well, let's stand up proct. Let's roll for Zed and Yone. Maybe just hit board 3 for fun. This board is trash. I rolled for nothing. I guess I want items for Zed now. Still one life. Still one off more, so I rolled a zero. Wait, I could have afforded it if I didn't make Yone. Watch Viego. This fight, he goes on a journey back to the 70s. Alright, more 3. Realistically, this is as strong as my board is going to get. Not counting a possible Kiana 2. Can we beat Alawi 2, Yorick 2, and Lucian 2? I can't get any stronger, and Mord barely got a second cast off. I just have to hope that he can pull through again. Thresh is nowhere near as reliable as J4 from set 9. Watch as he doesn't even stun my Revan. That's GG. Don't be afraid to try rerolling off meta stuff. Augment's can always bail you out. Thanks for watching.